Hey everybody, Christopher Rod here. Today I'm gonna to be checking out a game called John Wick Hex. Just released today, looks really fun. And uh, John Wick, if you don't know who it is, <laughs> I don't know how to help you. The Baba Yaga. We call it in Canada, referred to as another nickname, Keanu Reeves is God. He's the greatest. All right, let's begin John Wick Hex and uh, see what this is all about. So uh, there's two ways you can play the core game as design operator, or you're going to only have five seconds to choose your next action, which is more kind of rapid fire once you learn the mechanics. It's an added level of difficulty. John fucking Wick. Indeed. Fuck. He's quite the imposition, is he not? Surely you must have known our disappearance would not go unnoticed. I'm sure. I assumed your high table would try. Put up a contract, send someone sniffing around. I didn't think they dispatched the devil. I presume our present location is not on any maps. None. Nobody knows about this place. That's probably why your friend started searching at Edgar Wu's place in Chinatown. Mr. Wu is in your employ. He was. He ran everything south of 14. Made no secret of our relationship. Well, he was proud of it. I honestly believed that Hex, you, were a fiction. A myth to keep the stuff in line. I worked hard on that. Staying out of sight. Until you decided to kidnap us. Yeah, until then. You have a higher purpose. And that purpose requires certain theatrics. I always did enjoy a little theater. Pretty sure those are the real uh, voice actors from the characters in the movies. I don't think Keanu Reeves is on board, unfortunately. That'd be super cool, but... Okay, so a uh, couple of things. You'll notice up here, there's... Uh, this is basically measuring in seconds how long it takes to carry out a certain action. Down at the bottom, you're going to notice we have our uh, gun that we're carrying, we have our health pool, and then we have focus, which is used to perform certain moves. We can also change our stance if we want. Uh, when we're crouched, it actually helps us to aim a little bit better. So, because I started a new game, it's going to bring up some of the tutorials, which is good. It'll explain everything we need as we go in a much cleaner way than I probably could. Anyways, we can, uh, we can rotate the map around. There's action timing and interruptions. So all actions take different amounts of time and are displayed in the timeline at the top of the screen. The game pauses whenever your action completes or when you're interrupted. Interruptions are caused by a new enemy appearing, an incoming attack, or by your action becoming impossible. An indicator points to where an interruption originated. So we're going to run into this guy and we see we've identified an enemy here. So we have a couple of things that we can do if we click on him. Uh, these things, you all need to be right next to him, so strike, push, take down, parry, we can shoot, and it gives us a 100% chance, mostly because he's not aware, he's not behind any cover or anything like that. We can also throw our gun, which is fine, but we may as well just take him down, uh, since we have the ammo. This is probably better used if we don't have it. It'll also show you how this is going to play out on the timeline when you, uh, hover. This is going to take 0.9 seconds plus 0.3 per shot. Um, so let's do this and you'll kind of just get a feel for how that system works it's really well done actually and not something I've seen before it reminds me a little bit of like door kickers in a sense if you haven't played that game uh, that's a cool one to check out but anyways okay now uh, every time we resolve our actions it's gonna pause when something else that we run into uh, something new comes up it's gonna pause but uh, we can pretty freely move uh, attacking enemies, click on an enemy with the left mouse button to interact. Sorry, I've already gone ahead and done that. Actions have ranges to perform melee attack, get closer. Enemy actions are also displayed on the timeline below yours. Plan uh, using the information that they provide. So sometimes certain actions are going to take too long to carry out where the, uh, where the enemy will have uh, the ability to do something. And you might not want that. We're going to stay with this custom handgun. I'll just show you what happens. If we come over here, we can pick this up. And notice down here now, we've got zero magazines, we have 10 bullets left. Uh, but you can see up here, we've got 28 in the one that we just swapped. So we're going to pick up the custom handgun again. And uh, 
we have 13 left. We have another full magazine that we can use to reload. It just makes sense to, to keep this. Uh, let's peek around this corner. Melee. Striking an enemy does focus and health damage. Melee attacks also stun enemies. The duration of the stun is shown on their timeline bar. You might be asking yourself, okay, well, why am I ever going to stun somebody if I could just shoot them? Well, because you might run out of bullets or there might be uh, certain situations where it's more advantageous to do so. Um, but it just depends. You can probably just tailor it to your style as well if you want. If you're like, I want to just do a challenge where I'm not using any of my bullets or what have you. Uh, and there may be situations in the game that we're presented with uh, later on that are a lot more complex, so. Uh, what do we see? Oh, hello. Okay. So, I think we we have a 40% chance to shoot. Let's change our stance. Now, when we roll, now this is important. When we move and we're crouched, uh, you can see that it's using up some of this focus. And that's okay. We can refocus, but I'll show you what happens. Okay, so now that we're crouched, we've got a 100% chance, and he's a lot closer. See you later. Uh, we're going to remove this, and we can refocus. Now, if you notice here, this is going to take a full second. So if there were enemies around, we would be just standing here for a second while we refocus. But it seems like we're safe, so it's a good time to do it. Now, you do kind of want to get into the habit of, like, peeking around corners and just... Not, like, completely running into things crazy, but it's pretty early, so we should be safe. Uh, intros and executions. So all attack actions displayed on the timeline have an intro area, gray, which denotes, like, a preparation time. Uh, damage and costs are applied at the start of the execution area in pink. Actions may contain multiple execution points. Each one applies damage individually. So with the gun, like, we're shooting twice, that kind of thing. Uh, we have somebody in here, it looks like, but... I guess we... Okay, we can see him. Now, uh, enemy strike incoming, but he died, so we're fine. You can dodge by stepping out of the melee capsule, this little uh, pink thing at the bottom. Or you can do a parry attack. Both spend focus, but may help you find a moment to retaliate. We managed to kill him before he got to us. Oh, no, we didn't. He's alive. My bad. I thought, I thought we totally had him. Uh, so we can dodge, as it said, to focus. Or we could go for a parry. Let's try this. And then this guy's coming in. He's going to have an action. So we should consider, if we can, let's strike this. And then we need to, we need to move. So it's like this weird blend of, of real time, but then there's all these pauses. And what's cool is at the end, well, I'll just, I'll just, I'm not going to, I'm not going to ruin it for you. Okay. At the end, there's something cool that happens. I'm going to roll out here. Nice. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. And notice we're still doing pretty well for bullets. We're almost at the end of the uh, the level. Let's go back to our regular stance. And if we have time, we might as well refocus. And that's the end of the first level. Now, <laughs> let's watch this. It puts us into this cool, like, takes out all the pausing that we did. And does kind of a directed summary of our performance. Oh, yeah. Yo, that was not bad, actually. But let's see what else they have in store for us. So here's the map screen. You're playing across larger environments. Health and ammunition persist, so play carefully. For future jobs, you'll be able to plan ahead. Okay. So let's navigate our way through here. Okay, so notice. This is the other thing. Um, another reason that we may not want to just spam all of our bullets right away. Because we're going to run out. Let's get up close. And let's talk about hit chances. So some actions have a probability of success per execution, shown as a percentage. Probabilities are calculated at the moment of execution, so pay attention to enemy timeline bars. Crouching increases your chance on shots at enemies, so does waiting for them to stand still. Moving or being a small target lowers their chances of hitting you. So we're right behind this guy. Uh, we can, if we want, we can push these guys into a different tile. Um, if we can take them down and force them into a different tile, or we can just strike, which I'm going to go for. 
That's gotten his attention. Let's strike again before he can recover. And gone. Let's keep moving. We've identified a target on the left. 80% uh, chance. Let's go for it. And pretty soon, once we start running into uh, multiple enemies, that's when things get a little dicey. And that's going to happen right away. Oh, I didn't even see this guy. Damn it. Uh, let's parry. And let's strike. And strike again. Let's move. We can get... Uh, yeah, this is okay, probably. Sometimes it's nice to get, like, fully zoomed out, but then it's hard to see all of the, uh, all of the angles. Okay, 90% here. Your ammo's low, so you're low on ammunition. If you're holding magazines, you can reload. We have one magazine. Reloading takes time, so choose a moment carefully. Otherwise, pick up a dropped weapon or stashed weapon. And you can see, like, they're dropping weapons all over the place, so right now it's not that bad. Later on, it might not be as straightforward. Also, I think when we reload, we actually lose any of the uh, bullets that we have remaining. So you want to do that um, as best you can. You want to try and avoid wasting those shots. Uh, we do have some bandages over here. Let's grab these. So we now have three bandages, which are used to heal. What's this guy? 60%. I'm going to move. I'm going to change my stance. I'll roll out here. Whoa. I'm going to roll up here. And let's see. There he is. Nice. We'll take it. We have one shot left, which is going to be pretty tough to uh, to kill a guy in. Reloading discards all the remaining rounds in your magazine. You can only carry one weapon at once. So picking up a new weapon drops your current one. Only player stash weapons have spare magazines. Bandages are also finite. So let's take a second to reload here. Oh, you can see they appeared while that was happening. So notice here, I want to execute this move. They actually interrupted our reload. And he's going to get a shot off. One of them is going to get a shot off. The other guy, he might get a shot off as well as we're moving. But I'm going to go for it. If I can. All right. Let's hit a bandage back here. We probably don't need to do that, but uh, just to be safe. And then I'll take a shot. I'm going to throw my gun at this guy. 75%. I'm out of ammo here, and I won't have time to uh, to reload. Your focus is low. Focus is spent on advanced melee and rolling. Without it, you cannot reload, and your hit chances on multiple attacks are lowered. Incoming attacks are likelier to hit and stun for longer. Refocusing is free, but takes some time, so find a safe opening. Okay, so let's see if I can run away a bit here. Okay, we've refocused. And now I need to pick up this gun. Get into cover. <laughs> okay. Let's roll out. Nice. Okay, not bad. Not bad, not bad, not bad. If we can get our weapon back. Here it is. We'll pick this up, and now we'll get our reload in. Let's refocus as well. Uh, the bandages, I think, heal for quite a bit, so I might hold that. But I want to just explore to see if we can find any other bandages or ammo or anything. Doesn't look like that's going to happen. Okay, cool. Okay, so let's continue. And I think we might get into some crazier stuff here. Enemy types. Enemies carry different weapons and have differing behaviors. Pay attention to their names and the weapons that they are carrying. Let's come on up here. Oh, hello. Edgar's boys are rather unpleasant, if I recall correctly. Who among our kind are innocent? We are murderers, thieves, and worse. Speak for yourself. We live by a code. There are rules. True. For those without the vision to transcend them. Okay. So this guy is a security personnel. He's carrying a 9mm automatic. This guy's a brawler, which means he's going to basically run at us. This guy's top priority, so if we can take him out first... 
Then we can take him. Beautiful. Okay, low cover allows you to break line of sight if you crouch. Crouching also gives you an opportunity to roll. Rolling's fast, hard to hit, but it costs focus, which we've already done a couple of times. We could go in here, but we're going to scout the area. Oh, hello. Uh, I'm going to continue my move. And I'll back out actually this way. He's got to keep coming towards me. So we can kind of abuse that extra time that we have. Hello. Uh-oh. We missed one of them. And everything, like, every little thing takes that extra amount of time. So she was able to get a shot off there. She did miss, but still. Oh, boy. Okay, let's back here. Bandage. All the while, this is still happening. I'm gonna crouch. Uh-oh. Okay, so she meleeed us, which takes a little bit... Like, it can stun us and F up. See how it cancelled out our attacks, basically? Okay. Now, I'm gonna have to switch guns. Let's refocus. Now, I wonder. I don't think I can, like, uh, combine these clips or anything. No, no, no. Okay. So now we're all... We're basically completely on our own in terms of ammo. Oh, jeez. 40% chance. Let me come back here. Let's change our stance up. I'm gonna roll out. 80% now. Much better. And I think what we want to do... I think what we want to do is just keep picking up whatever we can to have more ammo. Let's go back inside and see if there's anything else happening in here. Oh, damn, there is. Okay, I'm gonna roll out. See you later. We can refocus while we have time. Oh, boy. This is the thing, is like... <laughs> uh, he's gonna get a shot off first, but that's okay. That's okay. Their accuracy, unsurprisingly, is a little bit less than ours. Is this... Nothing happening there. Okay. So, oh, okay, we got one to the south. Now, we can just keep fighting. Large encounters. This fight will get dangerous quickly. Remember the timeline. Use sight lines and play the odds. Remember that moving and crouching reduces your chance of getting hit. So we could continue fighting this, um, but it's just gonna be a, it's gonna basically deplete our re limited resources. So I think what we might try and do, oh, we can't even escape when enemies are close. Okay, so we're gonna crouch. We are gonna take some damage here for sure. And I'm gonna be in a bit of trouble. He's a brawler, thankfully. If I go for shots on him, he's also going to get a shot on me. Let me roll. Now, I don't... Hmm. I think we might just have to fight. I can try to bandage, but he'll be here before that happens, I think. Health is low, bandages are limited. After trying to tell you to stash them yourself in the planning phase. Got it. I think I'm just going to go all out here. Nice. Woohoo! Okay, that was pretty close, actually. Let's refocus. Oh, they're just, they're just not stopping. Okay. I'm going to pick up this gun and then I'm out of here. Just because I don't know if we're going to get opportunities to... 
get more guns here. Okay, that was pretty cool. Let's see how the replay looks. Some of that stuff might come off pretty neat. I will say they do a pretty good job with like making this cinematic and having all the different camera angles and stuff. I kind of wish that there was a way for them to make it a bit more fluid because you can see like the way that we move the character as from the player's perspective. It looks a little bit like um, skippy, like not super smooth. It would be cool if they could remove some of the some of the animations that don't matter in this review, just to make it a cooler cinematic experience. I think that'd be kind of, kind of neat. Anyways, not bad. Not bad. Let's keep going. I want to see how challenging this gets. So this is a direct assault, or sorry, a direct assault is likely expedient. What it lacks in the subtlety, it makes up in speed. Okay. What else can you show me? So I'm going to move in behind this guy. Um, we're just going to go for strikes. It'll use some of our focus, but whatever. That's fine. Okay. So it's got the same amount of bullets. Wait. A pause is sometimes necessary. The wait button allows you to advance time incrementally. So it goes by 0.2 seconds every time. Okay. Ooh, hello. Take this. Ninety percent. These brawlers, they seem like it's probably the ones we need to worry about the least. To master John Wick Hex, play the timeline. The top layer shows your actions, the layers below are the visible enemies. If they're attacking you, will any of the, your attacks execute before theirs does? Maybe you should hide or be moving at the point of execution to lower the chance of being hit. All actions can be previewed from the timeline before you can before you confirm them. Take your time before committing. So here, uh, we don't see any actions from him. Uh, he is a brawler, so he's likely just going to walk at us, right? And again, you can see it's going to take uh, basically half a second to warm up. Or, sorry, 0.9 seconds, almost a full second to warm up. And then the 0 0.3, 0 0.3, which we've already covered, but... Okay, we have a couple of shots left. Where am I getting hit from? Oh, he's coming from here. Okay, let's uh, change our stance. We're going to roll. We got, an action, we got action down at the back there. Top priority. I'm crouched here. Now, I imagine that there's going to be times where we, like, the enemies will have faster movements than us. They'll be in a better position or something. And we're going to end up, like, just getting kind of stun locked. We need a new gun. Let's grab this. Pick up these bandages. At least we have one. Uh, nine mil automatic. See ya. <laughs> Man, they do, it, it does a pretty good job, actually, of making you feel badass. It's a little bit easy right now. But we're being heavily tutorialized, so. Let's keep going. Edgar's upstairs, and then we gotta clear the- oh, there's a boss. Clear the room. Okay, sweet. Who made a last stand on safe ground? Safe? Nowhere in this city is safe. My people lack the protections and grand illusions of the high table. Nothing is sacred. I'm gonna we wait till he comes out here. Your pageantry and false currency. 
Okay, yeah, see, now, now I feel like we're getting into it. Yeah, uh, I wonder if I could just hit, like, W for weight or something. I can't, but... Because it controls the camera. And notice, with all these brawlers, they're not dropping any weapons. So that's going to become a little bit of a problem. We're going to be sorely lacking in ammunition. Oh, they have guys up top, too. I don't... Hmm. Oh, I see. Okay, we have a ramp back here. Let's take cover. Let him come towards us a bit. And I can actually roll... Out here. There we go. Beautiful. Positioning. Take down and push. Let you move John or the enemy through an attack. Use it to separate enemies, close gaps, or block sight lines. Well, that could have been bad. We missed one. Yikes. Oh, that took a that took some of the focus, so I'm just gonna have to fight here. Okay, let's go. Uh let's refocus as well. We have one on this side. I guess we can shoot through with this little opening. Damn it. Oh, look at that. Okay, so this... Okay. This is actually break our line of sight. This is a way that we can hide under here. We still have to take out this enemy, but that's a cool way of, uh, of showing that. Okay, let's see what this boss is about. <laughs> Clear the room. Can we use a pencil, though? That's the real question. Behind us. Damn it. I'm gonna need that gun. Let's wait. Thank you. There's probably some hotkeys that I could be learning here to make this a little smoother. Oh boy. Nine mil brawler. Let's go on the uh, nine mil first. Let's parry this maybe. We're a bit late on that. I guess we should have saw. Let's shoot him. He's outside the pill. Okay, I'm actually going to roll inside. Bosses are different. They have more health. Their shots cannot be or cannot be interrupted like other enemies. High focus makes them harder to shoot, so deplete focus via melee to make life easier. Melee attacks do no health damage to bosses, but do increase their focus or do decrease their focus and cause stuns. Oh, ah! Oh no! Okay, I knew that was going to take time. I wasn't. We didn't have vision of the other enemy, so I wasn't sure how long we would have. But I do like that if we die, we can come right back here. Now let's see if it plays out. It does. Okay, it's going to play out the same way. And then we'll bandage up uh, before we move in there, hopefully.
Nine mil, nine mil. Whew. Uh, I'll show you a takedown. So, what that does is repositions us in the place that we want. I'm gonna bandage here. Yeah, that takes a really long time. Pick up this gun, so we'll have 10 shots. Now, it's suggesting that we use some melee on this guy. We might have to play some, uh, some cat and mouse a bit here. I have nowhere to roll from there. Okay, so this... I'm just looking down here what it's going to do to f our focus. So our focus is going to increase and his is going to decrease. Um, these both essentially do the same thing, but the takedown uh, uses four of our focus, whereas the strike only uses two, and the strike has uh, a lower time to go off. He's going to strike first, though. So I don't know. This will be interesting. If I parry this... His strike is still going to go first, which means I might not be able to get it off. But let's see how it works. Okay, yeah, I don't... Yeah. So he got his strike in slightly earlier. But now he's not planning anything. So we're going to go for our own strike. And I'm going to try and deplete his energy as much as I can here. It's using ours too, but that's fine. Now I need to move. Okay, we got our focus back. I'm going to engage. This focus is almost gone. And now we can kill him. <laughs> hey, we're just trading blow for blow now. Is that the plan? Got him. Sick. That's cool. Let's watch the replay of this of the boss fight. I do wish that there were also uh, controls in here if you wanted to go to a later part of the uh, of the challenge. This will just be a lot of, like, hiding behind pillars. <laughs> I almost wonder if this part wouldn't benefit more from, like, a highlight system instead of a full replay. <laughs> that was pretty good, actually. Not bad. Okay, so let's take a look here. Uh, game time taken, real time taken. Beat par to earn name. Oh, cool. Okay, so there's like time-based challenges. Rounds used, range, uh, range kills, melee kills, melee assist, shot accuracy, name earned, weapon types used, name earned. So new name earned for location, Alyosha Popovich. Deadly accurate aim, wick shot true, wasting little ammunition as he passed. And then depending on how you do all these other things, you're going to earn these different names, which is pretty cool, actually. I like that. I like that. So par is to use zero, which, you know what? If you did it again, you could probably do that, no problem. Uh, Edgar was bandages. The end. Zero bandages. I told Wick nothing. A stronger man than many would be in his situation. I presume from your demeanor that this was not the end of Mr. Wick's search. Oh, no. He'd barely begun. Why on earth did you bring us here, Hex? It has been wonderful catching up, I must say, but there are other matters we could both be attending to. 
You are the key to a particularly difficult lock. You see, the high table who rule over your hotel and the world beyond it, they're a mask. A polite facade, like all governments, over a simple truth. Power defines our place. Power defines our reality. The High Table has never been shy in this matter. All declare fealty. All must be of service. Well, maybe not all. All who wish to keep their heads? Hmm. The powerful. You see, they don't respect those who bend the knee. They celebrate them, flatter them, give them titles and lands and the illusion of self-determinism, but they don't respect them. Power respects power. To earn a place by their side, a man needs to demonstrate power. Is that why you plot this en route? An attempt to demonstrate power? No. steps of the Continental, on sacred ground, and fearing no repercussions. That demonstrates power. They will hunt you down. The adjudicator will... Will respect me and my birthright. Please continue your story. I wonder where Jonathan went next. Elysium. One of Wu's clubs. Cheap thrills and overpriced drinks. It's only admirable quality is its owner. A brawler named Osborne. Man after my own heart. Wick thought someone like Osborne would know where to find me. But to ask, he'd need to fight his way to the center of a fortress. Cool. I just wanted to let that play out because uh, one of the things that I think is really cool about this is the way that the story is told. It's almost got like comic book styled approach. Um, I'm happy that it's voiced over by what seems to be the original actors and uh, it just kind of sucks you into that John Wick world a little bit. Um, before we wrap up, we'll show you some of the planning phase. So you cannot save up continental coins. Use the location budget to stash bandages and spare weapons. Surplus currency is lost. Some areas are inaccessible beforehand, so nothing can be placed. Others are riskier and therefore more expensive to place items in. Custom suit tailoring is costly, but benefits you throughout every map in this location. So as an example, uh, we can go ahead and say we want to have Increased range of push attack by two. Moving penalty on incoming shoot attacks is increased. Lowering enemy hit chance. Dodge costs one less focus point. Um, there's also, if we go in here, no need to disrupt the customers. This side entry point takes you through Elysium's offices. And we can choose what we want to be stashing there. So let's say we wanted to put the 9mm automatic. Uh, let's say up here. This is expensive. But uh, we could stash a bandage there. Maybe we feel like by that point, we might need to heal. Um, up in this section, we could do another 9 mil automatic. And then we could still, if we wanted to, uh, say like moving penalty on incoming shoot attacks is increased, lowering enemy hit chance. We've used all of our coins, none of them carry over, and then we go in. It's kind of a cool way of, kind of a cool way of doing it. And then you still move through these little sections one at a time. But uh, yeah, I like this game. I think it's neat. I don't know if it would be something that uh, you guys would like to see more videos on. But uh, I think it's a cool introduction. And I think a lot of people will enjoy it, myself included. Like this is something that I would play offline. I think this would be like really good on the Switch. Or honestly, even, even an iPad. I think this would fit incredibly well in there. I don't know if they have those plans in place. But um yeah, it's, it's well done. It's well executed. No pun intended. I like the time mechanics. And you could you could change that to like uh, an action points kind of thing, which it essentially is. But by focusing on the time mechanics and making it like seconds, uh, you feel that added pressure where it's like instead of saying, oh, they have two action points and then two smaller ones to do their attacks. It's like, okay, they have one second to execute this and then they're going to go 
2.3 second attacks it just puts that extra little bit of pressure on and uh i think it's really cool like <laughs> way cooler than i thought it was going to be and so uh i'm happy about that i would like to see obviously if you had keanu in here that'd be legit but you can't get yeah, can't get everything these days he's busy with cyberpunk anyways so you know how it is anyways let me know what you guys think if you like the video drop a like it helps me a lot and uh if you're new here consider subscribing i do a lot of playthroughs and uh i am starting to cover a lot of uh just kind of one-off looks at games that i think might be interesting to show you guys so take it easy we'll talk to you guys soon bye for now